What is going on, everybody? And in this video, we're providing state of the market and stock picks for December 21st, 2022. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, consider subscribing as we do provide daily and weekly updates to get you prepared for the day and the week ahead in this glorious market. Now, yes, we are looking at FedEx and uh, some interesting stuff uh, going on with FedEx. Again, it didn't crater uh, today, which is good to see. The market itself held pretty well uh, for the most part, uh, but they did beat expectations, but sales fall short, uh, amend weaker demand. So uh, they are looking to cut, I believe it's... Um, cut costs by an extra one billion uh just for fedex so that in itself the moves that they're making are absolutely absurd uh the fact that expectations are extremely dirt low uh so anything beating expectations is a plus uh, this is something we've been talking about over the past couple months expectations have been uh really bad all year and so anything that beats or does well uh it it does quite well, uh, but what we have seen is that uh, when it does beat, uh, that typically you'll get a pump and then a dump. So, uh, but right now, I mean, FedEx, again, as long as uh, companies are surviving, I think that's what really matters, uh, what people are more concerned about. Um, but again, FedEx, the FedEx numbers still are not great. Uh, being said, we all are aware that we are in, I think we all are aware that we are in a recession right now. Uh, if people still do not, do not believe that we're in recession, I think uh, they may be living under a rock. But nonetheless, uh, so that was a big event that I think um, having some kind of hopium in that, I think, is enough to potentially drive the market. Uh, now we can flip back over to SPX, where we normally start off. And as you can see, the market's actually holding this, area, this zone really well. So roughly holding around that 3,800 really well. Um, I said that as long as we don't get any new bad news, I think we can start getting into an earnings rally. Uh, I think that's a very strong possibility. I said short term, we could have some sort of a rally um, because it's a natural cycle. Uh, it's a Christmas rally, although I don't ex I expect a lot of things to be really bad in this earnings, Q4 earnings. Uh, and again, we're seeing that FedEx uh, reporting um, they have to cut costs an extra one billion dollars uh so with that being said you've also had the banks talking about um negative gdp and a lot of other issues coming up in the next year uh which again i don't think you've seen but uh doesn't mean before now and before any headline bad news comes out that we can't rally uh, again this is where being neutral is important do i think we could potentially crash a crater yes is that I think it's still a little bit too early for that. You got to let some of the stuff play out. Um, you got to continue to let these high rates uh, do their thing, um, which again is not a good, but we are uh, market mindset right now in general. Yes, nobody wants you know everybody to do poorly in, in the in the world to to essentially burn. Right? People want a general consensus that things are good. But being said, uh, market mindset is what we're in and what we have on this channel. So. <laughs> Uh, right now, uh, things aren't great, and it's just waiting for them to buckle at this point. And I think it's only a matter of time, unless the Fed, for some reason, come out of nowhere and pivot. Uh, I think we're going to get that that crisis or crash uh, again, roughly around springtime. So, short term potential rally could see it, but we'll see uh, how we do here. Again, I think we could potentially start to try to go up back up to forty one hundred. Uh, which would potentially make us a uh, lower low, potentially on the daily. Could be potentially a higher low if we start creeping back up here. Again, we haven't retested. We haven't had a bounce in a couple days, so that's definitely not a good sign. Again, there hasn't been a lot of volume anyway, so we've just been kind of slowly bleeding off since Powell. Um, but you definitely want to keep an eye on that 3,900. If the market starts to bounce up to that, uh, which is a pretty nice little uh, rally we could get in the next couple back half of this week. It's kind of what I was expecting because well, because of the massive selling. And then typically Wednesday we do have a uh, pivot in the middle of the week. 
normally. If there's some heavy movement to one side, there'll be a pivot in midweek, uh, typically. Uh, so we'll see how much feel we can get to the upside. Maybe we can revisit 3,900. Uh, but again, be very mindful on the daily. Uh, you're going to get a very hard rejection right there because this thing uh, hasn't retested. It just comes straight down and hasn't even bounced back and retested. So, but I think, again, I think we could get a short term rally. Uh, as long as we can hold roughly around this 3,800, uh, could potentially get a rally going, uh, get our Xmas rally, then maybe a lot more bad news. Uh, so we have to see there. But, um, uh, FedEx is out of the way. We kind of know that, uh, again, things aren't fantastic, uh, but they survived. And that's uh, what matters in this market, right, is that they survive. As long as they're surviving, um, that is a plus in what's going on. Again, things aren't great, but in a market where things are really, really bad, um, having some sort of hope or some sort of we're doing okay is a, definitely a plus. Uh, so... So we'll see uh, how SPX handles it tomorrow. We open up. Again, I don't really expect a lot going on these next two weeks anyway, uh, which is interesting to see some insight there that they're still having to cut a billion. I think it's very important uh, that they're still dealing with inflation. The inflation isn't going anywhere uh, if they're having to cut that much. Um, again, high rates are a big issue. So so the next thing is, is to see if we can get some sort of rally again back after this week. Maybe we test uh, 3,900. Maybe we start selling off again from there, make a newer low here down to 36. Again, we have we take it day by day, but right now we're holding. Uh, and that's one thing I've been watching is this 3,800 as long as we continue to hold. Maybe we don't pivot tomorrow. Maybe we open back below uh, that 3,800 and start selling more. Uh, so again, really just depends. But there, again, there's no, we don't have any news. We don't have anything else to feel us to one side or the other. Uh, so that's not really helping at this point. But uh, again, we'll have to see. And now uh, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Again, Bitcoin isn't moving much. I think it's going to, again, sit with the market at this point. It's going to run in parallel. However, uh, the market plays as will Bitcoin. Um, the dollar, again, still holding. Everything's pretty much sideways. Again, I don't expect much over the next week. I think everything's going to continue to go sideways. Uh, until we get out of holidays and then we'll start getting momentum so one way or another. Uh, but again, watching uh, the 102 mark, we don't want to, want, want to break 102. If you're a bear and you don't want it to break back over 105 if you're a bull, because um, that could be very worrisome in that aspect. Uh, Tesla, this thing really continues to disappoint. I think a lot of people are losing trust in Elon and the whole fiasco that's going on with Twitter. Um, in the massive selling over last week, uh, Elon or Tesla is really struggling to try to find footing. Uh, that's a very, very apparent when this thing keeps continuing to sink, uh, down to one, uh, 37, um, which is incredible. This, this massive move, it reminds me of before it even went parabolic, um, you would get massive pushing, uh, you get some, like a hundred point move up and then a hundred point move down. And then it was just these massive violent swings in Tesla before it became fully profitable. But now we're starting to see just continuing to sell off, uh, which is not good. Hopefully earnings are good. Uh, production numbers were good. So again, we'll still have to see um, company as a whole is an energy company. So we have to see how that does play out. So, um, so here we're really kind of watching this thing needs to, uh, reclaim some of these old levels. It's, this is absolutely not bouncing either. Even when the market is turning, Tesla isn't turning. So uh, I don't like that fact that it, can, it, can, it continues to just keep selling. So we're going to have to definitely watch uh, Tesla closely here. Uh, Apple holding the 130. The 130 is a pretty strong support. Question is, can we get a, a bounce back up to 141? And as long as it can hold, that would be great. If not, this thing could be heading lower, making a lower low, which is definitely not good. So again, watching to see what happens here. We definitely want to see if we can get a strong bounce out of here to end the week would be great. Uh, but again, not guaranteed. So uh, watching, look for that. And then again, watching the short around the 141 on um, Apple. Uh, again, you got res pretty strong resistance here at the 135. Uh, could get rejected and continue to sell off. So watch out for that as well. BA, again, still holding very strong. Value is still very strong, even though it's not really moving. Uh, again, we need news. There's no news. Holiday mode, nothing really happens. So JPM, same thing, sideways. Uh, I thought we were going to break and start um, selling off here. 
This could be the break. Again, you don't want JPM falling below essentially the 126. Uh, then you can start getting some major selling at that point. Um, Golden Sachs is already broken. Golden Sachs, you really don't want to break uh, 340. If it breaks 340, again, more added sell pressure if that does happen. Uh, Bank of America, it's getting pretty close to that bottom, which is roughly around $30. Uh, so I think you can get see a little bit more selling here going into earnings again. Things aren't looking good for banks, so um, that's going to be our correction again. Roughly, that's around the, th the 15th of next month. Uh, that kind of gauges on how we, we we move from here. So really watching that to see where we go. And then um, yeah, that is pretty much it. Again, there's not a whole lot. Uh, like I said, the next. Week and a half is going to be slow, so just be patient. I did take one play, a short play today. Um, the one time that the, uh, the market actually sold off pretty heavy. But again, the ranges are still very, very tight. I'm really only playing the general index. I'm not really playing individual stocks. Um, just kind of waiting to be patient and then let things play out. So look for the opening. Uh, when the opening does happen, it's going to be very obvious. Uh, right now, things just aren't moving. There's no news. It's better to just either one trade really light um, or else just don't trade at all. You just wait and be patient. And majority of the time, I just haven't taken anything. Today, I took one play, uh, shorted a little bit, uh, made some cash, and that was pretty much it. And I was done. And uh, there was no other openings for me to take. So I, I just waited and, and being patient and, and wait for the next opening. So with that being said, if you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.